at this moment, dirty diapers are being sold on Amazon. Now, I might sound like I'm joking, but I'm really not. There is reportedly a woman in New Jersey that claims that she received dirty diapers from Amazon.com, but it doesn't stop there. All sorts of stories coming out that people literally dump, jump in dumpsters. That's a tongue twister. They jump inside of dumpsters to find products to sell on Amazon that guess what? They are cashing in on. So my only question is why aren't you doing it? Hey there, my name is Hurricane Liz and I've made millions of dollars selling products on Amazon and some of them are extremely bizarre and that's why I've created this channel. So I encourage you to subscribe if you like to learn about how to make money on Amazon with bizarre products and products that you did not think were possible to sell. And today I'm going to share with you a ton of used products that I actually sold on Amazon and I made money with. And at the end, I'm gonna show you a crazy one that I literally put together out of the trash that I found and sold and made a pretty decent amount of money. So get ready. I'm about to share with you some of my best Amazon secrets. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen and the very first thing that I wanted to show you guys is that there is actually an overview of categories and what you can and cannot sell on Amazon used. That is the keyword here. These people are selling used products, the people jumping in dumpsters, smelling crap and having to go through dirty diapers. They're all getting stuff that is used and then cleaning it up. And trust me when I say I've done this while I haven't jumped in dumpsters, I have actually picked up things and I'll tell you here in a second where I picked them up from. So as we can see here that conditions allowed Amazon Kindles used, but of course we're not going to be selling that automotive is used even though it is approval required, but babies all new, of course, I wouldn't want dirty diapers showing up in what I order, but take a look here. If we look here in kitchen and um, home and garden, used items are allowed. There's no approval required, which means as a brand new seller, you will be able to sell used appliances and used kitchen stuff. Same thing goes for toys. How do I know this? I've sold this stuff used as well as in electronics. So toys and games, now it's new and collectible. It used to be used. Some subcategories require approval. Well, I gotta be honest with you. I used to sell used board games on there, but it looks like they took that away, which was something that was pretty awesome. But as you can see, there's a lot of things, even in pets, you could sell used stuff for pets. Outdoors, you could sell used stuff. Office products, you could sell used. So you're catching my drift. This chart is available to actually look at and see what you can sell used. And again, books is a huge category where I sold a ton of used books. In fact, I'm gonna show you one in a minute, but let's first start with a product that I sold a bunch of used items. And that is in the toys and games niche, and that was Lego um, Lego sets. And I believe the one that I had was a Lego space set that was old vintage. I came across it at a flea market. Yes, at a flea market, I paid a whopping $7, and I ended up selling this thing for $500. And again, you don't come across this stuff all the time, but since I was out in the street so often, I picked this up. I found it. And you can see that there is going to be a bunch of used items being sold in this category, even though it says that you cannot. Um, there's actually right here 21 new offers. Let's see if we can find anything used. All right, so I found something used, and you can see right here there's 79 new used here in this bottle one. And you'll see here there is used good 59.29 by Amazon Warehouse. So that one might actually be an Amazon Warehouse one, but there are other people selling it that that it's used. It's not just uh, Amazon. Uh, this one that does just happen to be Amazon. Let me see if I can find another one where there's some used products on. And toys, since I just found out myself that you can no longer sell used toys, is probably not a good one to uh, give you an example of. It'd probably be best to find another category. So here we have 30 used and new. So let's have a look and see if what is used for this particular one. It's used and now they call them collectible toys. So that's kind of how they're classifying the new is uh, the used is by showing you collectible ones, which requires approval. But as I said before in the past, and that's why it's important to get in on this opportunity right now, because right now you can still sell used home appliances right now. You can still still sell used books, but in the future, they might do what they did with toys here and take that away. So let me show you an example of a book 
that just crushes it right now. And I actually happened to find one the other day, ago, which was actually pretty interesting. But that book is a book by the name of Breakthrough Advertising. It is now a collector's edition. And as you can see right here, there are 19 new and used offers for as much as $235.95 used like new. And there's a bunch of them here. And so what I'm saying is that there's a lot of opportunity out there. You can go out there and buy old stuff and sell it on Amazon because they allow you to list it as such. An example of where you can actually find a bunch of books is local library sales. A lot of times local libraries will have a once or twice a year sale where they're just trying to get rid of old books. There you can find a lot of gems, you can clean them up and you can send them in and sell them on Amazon. I have a friend that has done this for the past seven years and they have supported their entire family by looking at places like local libraries. Okay, so let's take a look at another example of a product that I've sold in the past. Okay, so that product, well it's not this particular DVD collection, I sold DVDs on raptors on birds on all sorts of things you'd be surprised what sells and what i've managed to come out finding out in the stores but you can sell dvds and this is an example of the harry potter 8 film collection if i look here there's 17 used and new offers and there's a lot of people that have actually either picked these up um or like they're distributors that just got used ones somehow so what I encourage you to do is next time you're out there, just download the Amazon seller app and you can scan the barcodes on books or DVDs or anything that's used and looks like it's put together, particularly when it falls into some of these categories. Like look at consumer electronics. I have sold used headphones. One time I picked up a pair of $8 used headphones and they turned out to sell for $400 on Amazon. So let me show you an example of another product that I've actually sold. Okay, so here is the product. It was uh, Sennheiser, the wireless earbuds. And the, the actual product that I found was discontinued. But there was like a bunch of people that are audiophiles and they were just such huge fans of the, of the actual product that as soon as I got them in stock, they sold immediately. The guy kept them, he loved them, left a, a review and all, and was thrilled that they were actually on sale used for $400. Like we're talking about headphones here, like wireless earbud headphones, not headphones, whatever whatever they're called, these, these things right here. In-ear headphones. It was just stoked, over the moon, used. Okay, so there is a lot of product out there that you can sell that is used. And here is the actual example of the product that I literally put together. Okay, so we're gonna search vintage board games. I used to love these. And the reason why is I had this super secret thrift shop that I would go into that would actually have these in bundles with stuffed animals and stuff. And I could actually see the UPC, scan it through the actual bag, and then figure out how much these were for. And a lot of them were still wrapped. And I got things like this Monopoly one that was actually sealed up in brand new. I got things like this Nightmare Before Christmas game that I'm about to show you in a second. I got a ton of these board games that were old and no longer available for sale. And in some instances, I sold them for hundreds of dollars. Let me show you a actual Monopoly for uh, Night Before Christmas that I picked up. I was stoked about this. It was selling for quite a bit at the time. And then I got home and I realized that there was a piece missing. And so what I basically did is I went on to eBay and I kept checking on a day-to-day -day basis because again, I wanted to make money and I wanted it badly. I looked up Monopoly night before Christmas and I found the pieces that I was missing. It was like one piece and it wasn't this one, but it was another one. I found the pieces and I put them together something like one of these little pieces. I bought it off of here and I sold it on Amazon for like 60 to $70. All because I just had the actual desire to find this piece on eBay and put it together. So now let's talk about where you can actually find these actual types of products. The first place is your local thrift shop. And that can be not a national thrift shop. We're not talking about Goodwill, not Salvation Army. I'm talking about a local gift shop. Here in Miami, they have one called Out of the Closet. If you go into this thrift shop, it's local. And really what it comes down to is getting to know the people that work there, becoming friends with them and finding out how often do they put out their stuff. 
So the second places are national chains. We're talking about Salvation Army, Goodwill, any chains like that. And again, it all comes down to getting to know the people. I knew the people at Salvation Army so well that they would let me go in the back and scan books in these gigantic canisters called Gaylords. I was Gaylord scanning for hours and hours a day because I got to know the employees and I got to know them. They knew that I was the book lady. So that's fantastic. A couple other places that you can get them. In fact, Gary V recently was featured for this. He goes to garage sales once a week and he just tries to find anything he can at garage sales to resell and show people that you can actually resell it. So check out your local paper. There's usually a list of garage sales or just start driving around. You'll see the signs every Saturday morning and Sunday morning. And then lastly, my favorite sleeper place was swap meets. Everywhere in America has them and swap meets are fantastic because people don't actually realize that sometimes they have gold on their hands. So I loved to check out swap meets, especially the more ghetto they were, I was be there first thing early in the morning. And then finally, as I mentioned earlier, library sales are always fantastic. If I see a library sale, I will definitely stop by to scan some books. I never turn down a library sale. Hopefully this shows you that there are a lot of options when selling on Amazon. So as you can get started as cheaply as I did when I first started. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I personally answer those and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.